Good afternoon everybody, it's Dan Walls here from Illumination Wall Art doing my second live stream. Well, the first one on my channel. I uh, helped out yesterday with Dramatic Aquatic doing theirs and I thought I uh, I might give it a go and do a live stream myself. I know I've got that, not that, I've got that many followers but you never know, you've got to start somewhere. So here I, are, here I am, should I say, in uh, the studio. As you can see behind me, I have got all sorts going on. This is uh, the start of the work for Sunderland Hospital. You can see my table there. Absolutely littered with spray paint, acrylics, all sorts of bits and bobs. Hey, we have someone following. Thank you very much, mate. Please uh, put a comment down the bottom. Let me know who you are. So you can see behind me that's a baboon that I've started um, on the floor down here. You can see a big crocodile that I'm doing. This is just the very start, the very basics for doing the zoo room. Over here we have a tiger, a sloth, cockatoo, a penguin and a turtle and an echidna. We're starting very small and we can work our way bigger and bigger. Um, I'm doing 17 rooms in total so there's all sorts of stuff to do. But if I'll take you through with the other room here into the uh, other part of the studio, you can see that we've got absolutely stacks of this stuff. It's called Corex. It's kind of a fluted cardboard plastic and we've got tons of it. We've got 25 black, 25 green and 50 white. This stuff's absolutely class of painting on because it's lightweight, it's easily cut and spray paint sticks to it brilliantly and it adheres fantastically and it dries like a solid plastic, especially with the lacquer over the top. So hopefully, within the next few months, um, I'll be doing live streams every couple of days. Depending on the internet situation in here, I'm not sure what that's like yet, but I will get cracked on and it'll be till after Christmas, I should imagine, when we get sorted out. So, I'm going to get set up and I'll show you how I add some shading to this baboon guy here. I'll just get this set up properly. Yeah. You have to forgive me if I'm not massively professional. I am only just learning how to live stream and to show people what I do. So we get this set up here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some light and dark tones to this cartoon baboon behind me. Cartoon baboon. Cartoon baboon. Yeah, and I'm going to be using spray paint. This is my regular blend, which is Loop. I get this from a company called Alfresh Co. Uh, if you want to follow those guys, it's www.alfresh.co. They're based in Cambridge, and I get pretty much all of my spray paint from these guys. And I like to stick with Loop because it's a really good spray paint. It's quite low pressure. You can get quite a lot of really decent thickness of lines out of it. And the colour saturation and the blends you can get with this stuff is absolutely sick. So if you want to look it up, Loop Pro Writing Tools. I'm nowhere in nowhere endorsed by Loop or by Alfresh Co. But not through lack of trying. Wink. So if anyone um, would like to sponsor me or talk to me about spray paints, then of course, just ask away. I'm happy to help out. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and on Twitter and all those places. Just look for Illumination Wall App. So I'm going to start off now by using some of this darker tone here. This place is well ventilated. It also has an air ventilation system, so I'm okay. I am going to put a mask on anyway, because health and safety first, of course, guys. And then we can get cracked on. Um, if anyone's not used to using spray paint or masks or anything like that, any particular mask like this, you use the bottom one first, on the back of your head, and then the top one goes down your ears. And you use the side panels here, and you just pull it tight. Now, I don't want my glasses to steam up, that's the main problem with this. And then it should form a seal around your mouth. This isn't the best form of mask, but it's better than nothing. So, about a foot away. Where the light would hit it, I'm going to do the light from this side, so the darker side of it would be on his arm, here, and along the bottom of his belly. I'm not worrying too much about overspray because he will be getting cut out later. And then we just very lightly dust this over in places just to get that light tone here along the down sides of the arms, under his wrists. And if you want to, you can add a ground later on, just put a bit under it like that. And it's great for adding very soft tones and textures. You can do bits and bobs, but if you, the more you add, the darker it goes. So generally, just add it up slowly, layer by layer, and then you'll start to see a bit of a transformation in him. He'll start to go more 3D and get more tone in his arms and everything like that. So just work this top layer up here. There we go. And then we do this side of his face here. And this side. Just 
just so where it'll cast the shadow up. And then back of his head here, there's a light switch there. Well, not a light switch, but light lines there done with gloss and inside of his ears. I'm just doing this quite free because I'm going to be going over it later anyway to add a few more details. It's not anywhere near finished just yet. This is just going into just to start me off to get the tones in nice and solid. Well, there we go. See, we're getting there now. Uh, I also want to add some to the tail. If I'm on the, this end of the tail here. Just down a little bit. And just pop this in. Around the back of here. Like that. Just generally anywhere where you'd be a shadow being cast. It's hard to work out where shadows are when you start out, but if you use a light source, then you'll be able to figure it out. Wherever the light comes in at, it will always have a subsequent shadow being cast down on it. I'm going to open the window one second, guys, because it's getting a bit stinky here. yet. <coughs> I should have thought of that before I started, really, but say la be. That's better. That's great. So I can see you've got one like, one person on it. Thanks very much, mate. If you want to put a comment down below, feel free. I'll ask some, answer some questions while you're on. If not, just sit back and uh, enjoy. What I was doing yesterday is, there's a friend of mine who has a channel called Dramatic Aquatic, and uh, he, his channel is all about fish keeping and uh, kind of dramatic builds and building all sorts of really strange uh, aquariums and fish tanks, and he's been working on a Nissan Micra, turning the whole thing into a hollowed out fish tank and then filling it invertedly from the bottom. And uh, I was doing a live stream with him yesterday and realised how much fun it could be to actually do that for it on the channel. So I decided that today would be my time to start out a live stream. And it's quite good fun. I'm just going to go in with a Belgrade now. This is like a dark khaki green brown sort of colour just for the underneath it to put a ground in. I'm going to probably switch the cans up and get a fuller one because that one's about flat and I'm just going to blast it in maybe a little bit closer so you can get that kind of control when you're up close just to put a shadow underneath the guy and make him pop like that yeah that works really well quite like that so what I'm going to do as well is also go back in with this black and just bust this underneath him like that So when we cut him out, there's going to be a very strong connection between his wrists and the ground, so it's solid. This is going to be taken and mounted onto a wall in a hospital, so we want to have it so there's no... None of the extremities are too thin and will come away. I mean, this tail as well might have to be extended into his back, so then it's not flapping around if that's the case. No kids can get all of it and pull it off the wall. I want to make sure it's nice and solid that way. But, once again, this is just a very brief start, and we'll figure it out as we go along. I'm going to add a little bit more around his mush, kind of around the back of his face, in his cheek here, and over the fur where it will cast a shadow, just so the white doesn't look too stuck on with his daft. If I go over any, any major details, I can always add them in later, just keeping it loose and keeping it fun for now. Also in his eyebrows as well, I'll post that in there, just so he looks like a mental or baboon in the eyes as well i might add some orange a bit of fluorescent orange just to see what happens with that and if i don't like it you can always go over it i find the key with painting and anything that you do you have to be able to enjoy it if you enjoy what you do from the bottom of your heart and you just have a laugh while you do it it doesn't really matter too much about the outcome you don't panic you just relax and you learn as you go that's the only way to do it it's uh, just practice 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 i know i'll probably make this look a little bit easy but um, it's just a lot of just a lot of practice, a lot of time that does it. So you grab some cardboard. So with the cardboard, you can use it as a blocker, so you can keep the paint where you need it to be. If you want a straight edge, obviously use some straight cardboard. You want something like more curved, you just curve it around like that. So I'm going to add this underneath. Where is that fluorescent orange? I've just put it down and it's gone missing. This is what always happens with me. There it is. You put something down and it goes missing. So, pop this underneath the eye, here, underneath the uh, pupil. And you just spray it on the card itself, and it bounces back. And this just adds a little hint of the orange into the yellow. There you go. 
And if I've oversprayed a little bit, then I can always go over it again with white gloss just to make it. There you go, you see how that's been added underneath it? There and there. Good look at that baboon. So yeah, that's not too bad. He's getting sort of where I want him. I think I'm going to maybe look for some white now and just add the light side of it. Because I've added the dark and I want the light to hit the other side. Let's see what I've got lying around in all these spray paint cans. Let's see. I'm due a delivery now actually. It should be coming at some point today. But FedEx have let me down again. Because they're a bloody nightmare. So, I'll have to look around here and try and find a soft white that I can use. Because I think I've near enough run out. Which is a bit of a nightmare. So let's see what else we can use. Ah, there it is. There's blank or white, which is really solid white. Better if I had some. Ah, we're very nearly run out, I think. Yeah. You can hear there, there's not there's nothing coming out. Yeah. A softer white would be better, I will admit. Tell you what we'll do. We'll leave Mr. Baboon out for now, let him dry, and we'll crack on with the crocodile. <coughs> Pop him down here. Let's see if we can find Mr. Crocodile. Here he is, we'll just pop him in there. So with this guy, I'm going to be going in with more greens. This has all just been brushed in with dark acrylic paint. Uh, dark kind of swampy sort of colours, just to give it the initial start. I'm going to go with some fluorescent green along the top end of him and I might work some Solero into there um, and we'll see what else we've got with regard to green spray paint and also put some uh, more tones in him with the uh, with the dark spray paint so I'll switch the caps up from the white and I'll stick this on the top of the fluoro green here so once again we're cutting him out so it doesn't matter too much if we're getting any overspray in the white but we want to try and keep as much Corex as possible because anything I chop out, I'll use later for smaller characters and making stencils. So for this guy, top of ridge of his back, just very lightly building this up over the top like that, just to give him a little bit of brighter tones here, so we know that the light's coming from up above and lighting up his snout, lighting up the top of his arms, and everything else like that. We're generally just putting it in dead loose just to give us a guideline of where we're going to go with additional colours like this. See, doesn't look much at the moment, but it'll add to it later. We'll add some gloss to it, make it look wet and shiny. Let's see what else. Ah, yeah, we'll go with the Salerno as well and see what that's like. And we're just going to dust this in right in there. Just to give us that idea of the light. Also give some of these lips as well. And I'm just twist, putting the can to the side and just dusting it in. Very, very soft. So I want to be able to see where my lines are and hit them again later. We're just putting it in. And we're building it up and building up and building up as we go. Adding lighter and darker tones. Just to make him pop like that. See? Yeah, he's starting to look pretty good. Looking very basic for now, of course, but you know, it always does when you start. Best thing to do with spray paint, if you do want to make a start, is just grab some cans and experiment. Obviously, don't do anything illegal. Don't tag anyone's house up or anything that you're not familiar with. They haven't asked permission. But work on boards, work on, uh, work on your dad's garage wall after you ask permission. Work on your own bedroom walls. It, you know, make sure you ask permission. And don't give up. Just practice and practice and practice and eventually you'll start to get there. Just using this now to build it up slowly. And just add it and add it and add it and add it as we go. I can see that I am broadcasting to nobody, so hello nobody. Um, this is interesting. But I'm just going to keep going and keep adding to it. If you want to watch this back later on, then by all means, you just jump in. Under here, like that. 
And he's really just starting to come together. I'm uh, <coughs> really starting to enjoy this guy now. He's looking great. If anyone is just joining me and wants to ask questions, then by all means, smash some in. Let me know what's going on. And I will answer the questions as they pop up on the screen. I haven't got Super Chat set up just yet. I don't have enough subscribers for it, but... And now, I'm just going to be doing these every now and then, build the audience up, and then just try and get more people involved. We don't want to start, uh, what's no, my name's Dan Walls, I run a company called Illumination Wall Art, and I am painting this for Sunderland Hospital. I'm doing 17 rooms in total, and the start of it is a zoo room with loads of zoo animals, and this is just a crocodile that I'm uh, just buzzing over with some loose Salerno bright green. I'm going to switch back now to the uh, transparent black and I'm also going to look for a transparent green because I want to start adding some tones into this guy there's the transparent green I'll go with the transparent green first just so we can get a few different tones in it this stuff's really good, it's like shading in a can if you want to add a shadow to anything or an undertone you can add this and it just looks great, you'll see it in a minute I'll, uh, I'll move the camera in a little bit a little bit closer actually, I'm filming this off a mobile phone so you must uh, excuse me I've never really streamed before until until yesterday well, I helped a friend out yesterday filming him in his uh, fish tank car so it gave me the idea I'll just pop that, I'll just pop that there just so you can get, get an idea of uh, the tones I'm going to be going with here so underneath his chin, where he's going to be darker I'm just dusting this, just underneath it so the thing with this is, I'm going quite close, and you do get runs if you go a little bit too close. So I'm just going to be putting it in soft for now, just building it and building it and building it like that. Best thing to do with this is not be in a rush. You want to just take your time and build things up nice and slowly. And just take your time. Because the key with shading is less is more. You can always add more but what you don't want to do is do too much too soon and ruin it now there's a little bit of dodgy paint work under the teeth where it's not quite solid so I'm just going to put all of this in here going over the teeth and what I'm going to do later is hit that with some more white and more black just so we've got a really nice blend. I'm just going to flick this into here as well, where the ridges are in his face. So this becomes the light coming down over, dark goes up. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. Just work that into the back legs. I'll put this back here so you guys can see a bit better there. As the tone goes in here across his back, separate that leg off from there. I'll add the lines back in later on as well to make him really crisp and cartoony. Yeah, he's looking pretty sinister. I quite like him, this crocodile now. He's good fun. Keep the, that light green in his lips. And his uh, muzzle, I mean, on his snout. Yeah, starting to get some pretty bad drippage here actually guys, but it can easily be fixed. You're just gonna keep cracking on two seconds. Just gonna dab out these uh, these little lines, we don't really like that. It's uh, a bit too much. Dab them out and go again. Anyone else following me, feel free to ask some questions. Uh, let me know where you're from, what your favourite animal is. Yeah, I suppose the bottom of his toes as well. Back end of his tail and then here in his arms. Just so we're adding a bit of depth really, seeing as we go. I've got some darker and lighter greens coming soon anyway, so we can add them. In a minute, once FedEx gets here and drops off my spray paint and I can unbox it online. I'm going to now switch back to the <coughs> transparent black. It works pretty much the same way as the uh, transparent green, but obviously this is a black, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use this cardboard again, and along the bottom of the tooth here, where we've got 
Shadow being cast from this other tooth, just on the card itself, not on the tooth, but on the card. It'll add a line between it all, and also down this side here where the tooth will have some shading, like that. Light hit from this side, so there'll be a little bit going on with this tooth here as well. Just a little bit here and there. And what we're doing is we're just adding it here and there where we think the be it. Inside of the mouth, the top lip we cast, shadow down over at the teeth. Don't think as well, uh, I know it's a cartoon and everything, but teeth aren't always white. If you look at people's teeth, they're often yellow, they're often grey. They've got loads of different tones to them. Nothing's ever pristine, pursil white. You've got to look at the world around you and get an idea from it and then bring that into your simple work because your simple work will pop then and look even better. It'll look so much cooler. We'll just pop this around here as well. And we'll do it this side. This top of this head here. So it's really starting to come together as well. Also using the curve of this uh, bit of cardboard, I'm going to pop it on here and I'm just going to pop it over on these lines to get a really soft ridge going in the nose. So then you can see where it ends up at. And we're just kind of popping it round and just making it do what we want very slowly and just taking our time. A bit of black in here as well, just to get the shadow in the teeth underneath these big snout. And in the nose as well, we'll have the dark patch in his nose. Yeah, it's looking nice. I'm going to put some black all the way along the bottom as well, where he's resting on the mud on the banks of a uh, well, the zoo or on the banks if he's on the bayou or if he's in a swamp in Florida. And we're just popping this in. There we go, see? We've already given him so much tone when before it was just solid green. And all you have to do is just practice with it and enjoy yourself. And don't be afraid of making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You've just got to be able to fix it, to have a laugh with it and find a way of fixing them. It's going to be really dark right there where the, where the folds of his uh, skin are, so where his back legs touch the front. And obviously underneath the tail as well, there'll be... Uh, a few bits here in the back that need hitting over. Back legs these fins here. I'm going to hit this again with a bit more dark acrylic at the end just to put the details in where I want it really dark and also with some black. But what you can see there is for taking about, I don't know, how long have we been straight for? 20, 23 minutes? 23 minutes, and we've very nearly got what we want out of it. So, I'm gonna look for some more paint, maybe going, actually, I'll go in a bit more with the fluorescent green, and just use it as a highlight, for now anyway, just to see what happens. Because I'm adding it over the top of this already light green. I mean, this is really bright, but, it's also got a transparency to it that's really nice to work with if you've got it. Yeah, just little bits in here, just to pop it in. I don't want to do too much, but just in places, over the top of the brighter stuff, just to add another tone of green to him. And it's just very, very gradual. I'm not, I'm not pressing right down and making it fly out. I'm just dusting it very, very gently. And letting it fall over the fluorescent stuff. Hey, there we go. So, we've got the baboon near enough dry, and we've got Mr. Crocodile on his way. I'm just going to see what else we can do. I'll maybe let him dry, then I'll put the lines back in, I think, and really make him pop while I'm waiting for this stuff to land. Um, what else can we do? I think what I'll do is I'll switch it up and do the turtle. Two seconds, guys.
So, as you can see here, this is a very long, thin piece with a few animals on it. If I can reach, it touches the ceiling so it's hard to get the uh, whole thing in shot to scale, but the bottom bit is the turtle, which I want to be doing first. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and rig this up with the camera so we can see what I'm doing, but I'll point it on the floor, so give me one second, and we'll see what you can do with this. Pop them down here. There we go. <coughs> Stick them down here between the easels. You have to excuse me coughing all the time. I've, uh, I was working late last night at my friend's place in the freezing cold, so I might be coming down with a bit of a cold. Pop this on the floor down here. There we go. <coughs> and we'll go again. With the same tones we were using in the turtle, but, or in the crocodile, but we're going to be working it a little bit lighter because this old tortoise oh, doesn't need to be as dark as the crocodile. Get that out of the way. There we go. Pop that up a bit so you can see. That's great. So, I'm going to crack back on with the turtle. And I'm going to be going with the Salerno, like we did with the crocodile. And I'm just going to dust all the way along this edge. Just to give him a bit of tone going into his legs. I'm going to leave that one there blank because that one there is in the background, so that would be like a darker colour. Naturally where the shadow would hit. I'm just going to put this in because it makes it a bit, little bit dodgy. <coughs> there we go, lovely. And also from the other side, we hit it with a uh, the transparent green. Oh, it's a bad connection, I'm very sorry about this guys. I uh, will pop this down on here like that one minute. Oh no. Yeah, this tripod is a nightmare. It broke yesterday at uh, working with Andy. I'll just set you guys up. There we go. That's better. If anyone's just joining us, I'm Dan Walls from Illumination Wall Art, and I am a mural graffiti artist, and I'm working on a load of boards that are going to go up at Sunderland Hospital in, uh, well, in the northeast of uh, England. Um, I am working on some cartoon animals at the moment for one of the rooms. It's a uh, zoo-themed. And I'm just going to take you guys through the process and show you some of the basics, really. If you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, just please ask them in the feed. Um, my first time live streaming, really. I'd started it yesterday at a friend's place, so bear with me. I'm just learning how to do it properly, and hopefully I'll improve in time. You've got any suggestions, guys? If your feed goes dodgy, you can't hear me at all. Just ask questions, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do my very best to get back to you. So... We've hit this side with some light, we want to go underneath with some dark now, just to pop this in. And we're just doing it very loosely. We're not going too extreme with it just yet. We're just adding it and adding it as we go. Not being too precious about it just yet, because at the moment, we need to put the basics in and just keep it very, very basic for now. Just pop it right along the bottom of here like that. There we go. So we've got some dark tones going into these legs. It just gives it that bit more dimension. It makes it pop a little bit more than just having basic blank colours. We want a bit more colour in this just to make it really good fun to use. I'm going again now with a uh, transparent black. Uh, this is from Loop Pro Writing Tools, a company in Italy, and I get this from my supplier, Al Freshco www.alfresh.co There my boys for that Okay, so underneath the chin a little bit darker and in the mouth as well You want to add some darker tones in there and we're going to go back in later with black Just pop it down from the chin Then obviously it'll be in the holes where his legs go and it'll cast a slight shadow <coughs> a slight kind of cave dome here and there as well Once again, we're not going too mental, we're just having fun with it and seeing what we can do. There is the uh, head being cast, well, cast shadow being cast from the head onto the shell itself, underneath it, and in the belly as well, it will be very dark. I'm going to add more colour to that anyway, because it's just solid white for now, a bit boring. 
just underneath there as well. And we flick it up very, very softly. Just flick, 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 flick like this. Yep, brilliant. While I'm here as well, I'm going to do the, the penguin's belly. Pour a little bit of shading in him, just to go there under his chin as well. There we go, see? Easy as that. If any of you would want to see more live videos, then by all means join in. Um, subscribe, like and comment, and if you want to know anything, then by all means, ask, just ask me. Put a link in the description. To check this out later on, I'm going to probably be doing another live stream at some point tomorrow, so you can see where we go from there. Thanks very much, and I'll see you guys soon.